It might be a heavily publicized maiden voyage, but at Kwangyong Port, it's also business as usual, as the world's largest ship is loaded up. For the Maersk McKinney Muller, this is the last stop in the country where it was built before a month-long journey to Europe, laden with cargo from Asia. This is the first of Maersk's so-called triple E-class ships, the E's being economy of scale, energy efficiency, and environmental soundness. The 20-vessel near $4 billion order for the shipbuilder Daewoo is a much-needed boon for a hugely important South Korean industry that's been struggling since the 2008 financial crisis. At 400 meters long by 59 wide, the Triple E can carry 18,000 shipping containers. At its stern, two propellers rather than one, powered by two smaller-than-typical engines. It's designed to operate at relatively low speeds. Maersk says that all means it will produce half the CO2 per container of the average cargo ship on the Asia-Europe route. But at the moment, that route is suffering from overcapacity. Since March, shipping rates between Asia and Europe have more than halved. And that, combined with the fact that only a handful of ports are deep enough and have big enough cranes to service a giant like this, might mean that Maersk will find it difficult to ensure that the Triple E is fully laden on every voyage. The Maersk McKinney Muller's captain, attending a ceremony held by port officials, says it's a long-term proposition. We have uh, decreased rates now and, and, uh, and overcapacity in the market, but I'm pretty sure, because I've been in the container business for 22 years, and, and that has been ups and downs before, and they will come up again, I'm, I'm confident. Maersk certainly has confidence in the model. It plans to have 20 of these giants on the sea by the end of 2015. For now, though, the Maersk McKinney Muller is alone in its status as the world's biggest ship. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Kwangyang, South Korea.